Hi, welcome to my channel, it's Donnell. Today I am unboxing my Maniology Mani by Me May subscription box. So let's get it open and get everything out and get the box out the way. So the sub subscription boxes always come with nice cards. They're themed. There's a little corgi butt and I have a cordigan corgi, not a Pembroke, which that resembles. I always hate that they always do the Pembrokes and never do the cardigans. Cardigan corgis are bigger. They have a fluffy tail instead of the short tails. They're just as fluffy and just as cute. So my girl's name is Jazz. She's adorable. Okay, Google, stop. So I will just read the first paragraph. Contain the Zoomies. Our Forever Friends Manny by Me collection is dedicated to fur babies everywhere. This month's subscription is worth wagging for with all new nail stamping treats inspired by cats and dogs of every adorable breed. With boops, bloots, and tippy taps, your nails will be telling happy new tales of love for your cutest companions. And so then it proceeds to tell you what you received, and I'll tell you about that as we open it. And then it comes with an inspiration manicure how-to card. This one is called Whisker Woven Afternoon, and it, they start with a pink base, do some yarn. I have never tried that continuous design, um, but I would like to try it. And there's like the little cat paw and then the little cat nose. Super cute. And then it gives you the steps to complete that look. Go ahead and open this up. next Ooh, new stickers i love it feed your soul with your passion i really like this sticker they're kind of new i like how most of their stickers are a matte finish as well and they always have good colors that's super cute i like that i know i say everything's super cute i do not apologize so Maybe. I don't like to use tweezers or anything because I don't want to scratch my plate. All right. I'm going to have to break out some of the tweezers. I'm just going to grab what I got off gently. And there's that satisfying. Rip. So this is MXM127. This is the dog's plate. I really like the kind of buffet style up here. The goodest pup. Oh, that's cute. Tell your dog I said hi. Can I pet that dog? Have you ever seen that video? If you know, you know. So adorable. I'm an animal lover, so cats and dogs. Right up my alley. The next one. Ow. Let's see if I can get this one off and easy. I'm just I'm terrified of scratching my plate, even if it is a corner that you don't really use. So bear with me a second. And my timer that went off was. Uh, I baked bread and I'm letting it vent so that uh, living in Southwest Florida with the humidity, sometimes when you bake fresh bread, if you take it out immediately without venting first, the bread, like, I don't know if it loses moisture or gains moisture, but it gets all wrinkly at the top and it just <coughs> looks wrinkly and gross. Anyway. This is plate MXM128. This is the cat's plate. Let me see if I can adjust my lamp so it's not too close. These are just so cute. Oh, I like the little feather thingy. Oh, the boot with the butterfly nose. Ah, I don't have a cat anymore. I did have two at one time. And the last one passed away last year. He um, had organ failure, it was pretty sudden. 
So anyway, enough of, enough sadness. We're here for joy. Get the paper out of the way. And let's open up these polishes. So these are the two early access polishes that come with your Manny by Me subscription. And this is Chonk. B512. And let's see what it says. It's a marmalade orange stamping polish with a cream finish. It captures that orange cat energy. So let's see. Yep. I like it. And then we have Tippy Tops B513 Ash Brown stamping polish with a cream finish, cute enough to make you dance. Kind of, yeah, like a brownish green, olive green maybe. It says ash brown. I don't, I don't really know what ash brown is, but it looks olive green to me whenever I open it. <coughs> Excuse me. And let me get a plate. And a pad. And let's do a quick swatch like usual I never have everything I need to go I'm always missing something All right. I use different plates to oh wait before we before we um, swatch uh, the free gift that comes with the subscription and this is so cute it is like a silicone jelly mold um paw palette adorable it's soft and squishy it'll be easy to clean i imagine and it's so cute i love it it's adorable so anyway i use different plates i usually like to use a circular design to stamp the top of my swatch bottle so let me grab some cards and a stamper and let's do this all right this is tippy top speed 513. i didn't really have enough polish on there Maybe that's not the best design for this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this for this one. Why? Because I don't feel like cleaning the plate. It doesn't look bad on the black in person. All right, so that is swatched. So there you go. This is Chomp 512, and this is Tippy Taps 513. Really nice. I don't have any swatch sticks. I usually like to swatch them out, but I can't find a stick right now. So there you go. And then I went ahead and already fitted some tips. Let me see what these are. These are um, these are BT Art Box X Coat Tips Two in One Soft Gels. These are the clear nude, and they these are matte. They are, I believe, extra extra short almond because I have tiny nails so these are even kind of long for me so this is what they look like so I went ahead and fitted those filed off the little nubby and stuck them 
I buy this um, double-sided tape off Amazon that comes in a multi-pack and you can see it's it's thick so I cut it uh, down the line and then I just lift up the pieces and chop off little slices and put them on that's how I like to do my tips I I don't know if I just am too rough but I find the clay stuff doesn't work that great for me so I have never done oh my goodness oh my goodness I'm doing all kind of crazy things I've never done one of the cards before from start to finish. Uh, so let's see how it goes. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if I have a light pink though. Do I have a light pink? Oop. I don't, but I'm going to use watermelon B431. as my base. One thing I do wish they did, I love their cards and I like the inspiration, but I do wish they did more of that with the actual colors you get. I don't usually... Um, use the polish for the base coat because I prefer to do gel so that if I make a mistake I don't and I need to wipe off my stamping it doesn't mess up plus I find I have a really hard time getting a smooth application with stamping polish oh, that was dumb but I just did that. I had something in my thing and I touched it with my glove. Uh, but after I do this, I guess I'll gel top coat it. And I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch me do two coats of this and gel top coat. And this watermelon color is one of my absolute favorite colors in all of my collection out of all my polishes oops so pretty I think I didn't wipe off the tips well And so I think those little specks are dust from me not wiping them very well. Oh well. So that's the first coat done. I'm gonna give that a few minutes to dry and then I'll come back and put on a second coat. Okay, I am back. And I now have two coats of Watermelon Float B431. And I've also top coated with Madam Glam No Wipe Gel Top Coat and cured it. And I like to top coat with gel because if I make a mistake stamping and need to wipe it off or make corrections, I don't ruin my base. So again, I'm attempting to kind of follow along with the little card. I've never done this before and I've never done like the, the um, one design going across multiple nails before. So we're going to try that. I am hoping the red shows up. I'm going to use Cherry Bomb B326 and I'm hoping that shows up on the nails. On this color so I guess we're gonna find out right now oops I should probably be more prepared 
my stamper wasn't cleaned off or anything, so let's try this. I don't know if this is really going to show up well. Hmm. Or maybe it will. Alright, not super bright. It kind of makes my red a little dull, but that's okay. See what I'm doing? Does that look like a continuation? Somewhat. trying to line it up like this and see if I can get it to kind of match. Oh, ow. Okay. It doesn't continue all the way because I slip. Let me see if I can get this tiny little bit I'm having a really hard time with my stamper. Okay, yep, that worked perfect. The top of my stamper is all cloudy and messed up now. And there it goes on the floor. So I might have did this one too low to get the little paw print. But we'll see. See how it goes, just keep going. <clears throat> Maybe I can like swoop up and do it on this one. Hmm. Let me think about this for a second. Hmm. Oh my goodness, I almost stuck that right on. This way. I was trying to use a design that then like continues up and I missed the mark on that again. Let me see if I can mm. 
I'm just gonna kind of grab a um, straight line piece to add down there. There we go. That worked. <coughs> so while I'm not following the card and design exactly, I'm kind of doing my own thing because I kind of messed up. But we'll see how it goes. I should have started with a different stamper because the one I was using, it's just old and funky. It's, and uh, it doesn't work that well. Okay, good. I'm just making a mess. Using red is <coughs> almost as bad as using black. It's just so pigmented and messy. So we'll get the little bow feather thingy. Oops. They have theirs coming straight out, but I'm gonna make mine kind of go. I like that. Why? I don't know. It's just what I felt the need to do. So cute. Okay, so I'm done with the red. I'm wondering if I could do that instead. I'll just do the same one they used. And I'll rubber stamp that one in a second. And I'm going to use a different one. Oh boy, here I go again, not being prepared. But that still worked. I just want to see if it's going to... Oh yeah, that'll be cute. Alright. Let's look at that. <clears throat> Get this cleaned off because I'm done with the stamping portion for now. Okay, where's 
is usually the brush I like. I'm going to use my cute little Kappa. I am going to paint my cat gray with Gray Joy BU181. I would kind of consider this a mid gray. It's not super dark. And yes, I'm packing it in thick because Can you see that? Maybe not on the black palette. Oh no. Nope. Well. That dried fast. Whew. I don't know if I can salvage it. Let's see. I might not. So what I did was touch my brush to a portion that was already dried on the stamper and I didn't have any, I didn't have enough polish on my brush, sorry. My goodness. That is a really weird It's weird how fast it dries on this palette. I'm trying to see how much of the right if I extend it too far down though. Okay, I might mess this up, but we'll see. Yep, that was not a good idea. So my kitty is a little too far down down but I think I would prefer to redo the bow instead of the cat or could I just do it over here if it's on my thumb that might be cute if I kind of do it off to the side like that right what you think
<laughs> I just realized I didn't even let it dry. That is bloop, stuck it on. Luckily that wasn't very thick, so it didn't smush. And I think the pink works well coming through for their nose. Can you see? So, wow, not perfect. It did work. Okay. Now I'm gonna do my little kitty paw. That is cute. Well, for my first time doing a continuous line or design across nails, I don't think I did terrible. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.